that we've got onions and celery cooking out here. Onions and celery, and then you take some greens. So these are collard greens. You right. could use radish greens or turnip yes. greens, but we're going to go. Or shard, go any, yes, any dark shard, leaving green, right? Kale. So that goes in, and it, you need to it cook it down. It down so, right? so a little like bit this of here. this beautiful stock. Uh, stick a lid on it and cook it down for about 30 minutes, okay? So just enough stock to get it going. Gotcha. And then it'll come out looking just, just like, like that. this fine stuff. Great. Okay, then we throw in some herbs. So I've got okay. some thyme, some rosemary, some parsley. And lots of sage. Lots of sage. Yeah, throw that in. Gorgeous. Uh, so it should be looking really soupy at this point. Right, right, right. right? Then we've gone ahead and made some cornbread right. and baked it off, right? So it looks like this. This is a an older, staler one. You want to use it a couple of days after. Or you after. can crumble it up, right, and just toast it. Exactly. Like you've done that's, here. That's also awesome. Um, and then what you do is you bring this over here bring to the sausage. Here. Okay. Right, so I've just cooked off a little bit of sausage. You can see I've browned that off. Go ahead and toss your greens in there. Fabulous. And then the cornbread as well. And so a stuffing shouldn't be difficult. It should really be just a stuffing, right? Now, right. of course, this isn't tradition. This isn't technically a stuffing. It's a dressing because we're not stuffing. We're it not into putting anything. inside the bird. But I think everybody universally calls it stuffing, whether right. it's in the bird or not. And if it, if you just sort of toss that together, if it looks like it needs a little bit more, you of can that add a broth, little more stock. Yep. And I've mixed a little egg into there as well, right? So oh, the to egg's help bind it. Hold right. it together. Yeah, exactly. So go ahead and pour a little of that in. Oh. So it should be all mushy and delicious. And then you just let that absorb. You yep. let that absorb. And then you pop it into the tray that you're going to cook it in, right? So I've got myself a, um, a beautiful one of your roasting dishes. Right. So you just slop that whole thing in, just like that. You can use bacon, you can use sausage. You know, there's so many different ways to take I'm the flavor. I'm going to just grab the trivet here. I'll get the one in the oven for you. Little salt, and then it goes straight in the oven. This one's been in for about 30 minutes at about 350, 375 degrees. Oh my God, okay. it's gorgeous. Doesn't that look beautiful? I get the truffle, not okay. the one I marked. Now. <laughs> oh, oh, yum. I'm going to name drop for a second. My friend Olga Urbani, who is like truffle royalty. Yeah, Urbani is the bomb. It is right. truffle central. It's like they, they pre I went and got some of these beautiful truffles from her. Oh. And uh, I mean, look at this. They're just, just so, gorgeous. so gorgeous. Mm. Well,